coaches. Sunday stunt day with the Dunkin' Donuts. This bike's way too obnoxious. That 66 tooth sprocket life. You hit six gear before you even pass the intersection. The Grom would be better. So, yep, back at it again on my stock F4i. Just kidding. This is the stun F4i that I barely uh, gave you any uh, information on. But my mic was doing shitty for a while, so I had to get a uh, helmet that could handle the wind a lot better. They say you're supposed to uh, get rid of your helmet after one drop or whatever, even if you're not even wearing it. But for stunt riders, that's kind of hard to do. Thing is, though, the helmets are at least 200 bucks and up. Hi YouTube, so finally I'm going to do a walk around of the new bike, which I haven't done in forever. I haven't done it at all since I bought it a couple weeks ago. Oh, where to start? It's a 2001 CBR F4i. It's got a lot of shit done to it. I bought it pretty much just the way it is. Uh, it's got 929 front end with the forks and the rotors and all that wheel fender then we got the contour dirt bike bars regular stock f4i front master cylinder for the brakes rsc clutch lever with the spacer then a cbr 1000 front master cylinder running the handbrake and a steel braided brake line basic little clutch cable and then for the cage and the sub cage it's hot as hell out here i'm fucking trying to breathe and shit God damn, I don't even, even know sun around, I'm still fucking sweating balls. Got a shirt on. Oh, it's hot. So we got the A-Town cage and soap cage. It might be an A-Town. I might be sick innovations uh, round bar. I'm not sure. But it's cut down, make it shorter. And then I guess I was told this is the best F4I handbrake setup. Or uh, foot dual caliper setup. Sorry. It's a Hohe Designs. And we got the dual piston caliper running the foot brake and the four piston on the handbrake with the big rotor kit. So yeah, there's that. Then the F4i Timing Advance and also the F4i Griffey Star, which is the saggy ass, or not the Griffey Star, the saggy ass fix. And it is one of the main things that are gangster for an F4i that you can do to, as far as stunning. It makes a lot more aggressive feel, all that good stuff. I believe this tank's Mark Rico. It's awesome. It's helped me learn a lot of tank tricks. Then I have a step plate, foot plate, tail saver, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not sure who made it. As far as the seats, I know this is like a local guy that made these. I'm not sure who did it, but it's got this little foot plate type thing on it so I can put my foot on there and jump around the hole, all that stuff. Stock rear sets, cut can that's. I don't know, it's pretty sweet. It looks cool. Doesn't sound the best. Kind of screams. And yeah. The crazy shit. 66 tooth fucking rear sprocket. That shit'll take you for a wild ride. Even when you don't want to. Fucking big ass chain. I think it's 720 or 525. Fucking 90 links. I don't know. They need polished up the uh casing sides and all that good stuff so the bikes i like the way it looks it's kind of basic but it still has its own little unique touches to it and sooner or later i plan on uh probably doing steel braided lines all around um just little things nothing too crazy maybe get some full fairings for it for dressing her up here and there but other than that yeah i like the way it is 
I haven't really changed much on it. I'm kind of scared to, as good as it rides. So that's my four eye. Alrighty, guys, just got to the lot a little early. Nobody else here.